Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be an off-topic commentary, not about the gameplay. I think I'm going to do this more often with arena games. Arena games are pretty fun to watch, and I've got a few long arena games backed up, and I'm, I'm sure I'll be getting more long arena games in the future that are interesting, but I just can't keep a full commentary about the gameplay up because a lot of the things repeat themselves. But today I want to talk about my World of Warcraft future. What are my plans? A lot of you guys are wondering, Cyback! Where's the WoW vids? Where's the live streams? A lot of people are pissed off at me for not live streaming. And I want to sort of address that. The main reason that I'm not playing WoW, and the main reason I'm not live streaming, the only the only game I really live stream is WoW. It's the only game that I have fun live streaming. It, Call of Duty just isn't fun for me to live stream. Halo really isn't that fun for me to live stream. Those are games I like to play in uh, in silence. I like to like listen to podcasts or listen, you know, just... I'd like to chill out and sort of meditate while I play those games and just, you know, whatever. You get it. Um, but WoW, that's the only thing I really like to stream. And uh, I just haven't been motivated to play it. The main reason for that is that it's just demoralizing, especially as a monk. Because a lot of the games you lose as a monk are getting fixed next patch. It, it's, it's pretty demoralizing when you lose a game because, like, oh... If I would have had Nimble Brew, I totally wouldn't have died right here. Or, oh, if Shockwave wasn't on a 20 second cooldown, everyone totally wouldn't have died right there. And uh, next patch, it should be a lot better. Monks, man, monks are going to be pretty fucking legit next patch. Deadly Reach, baseline, so we basically have an extra free talent. So, uh, what that means is pretty much every monk is getting leg sweep by default, because Ring of Peace is garbage. Um, it, it, the people that are worried about Ring of Peace, it got really nerfed. Like, nerfed into oblivion. I probably won't use it unless it's against TSG. It'll still be useful against TSG, in my opinion, because the double disarm on the warrior and the, uh, and the DK, both at the same time when they pop wreck, that's pretty huge. But against casters, no. Uh, you can only cast it on yourself, and it only interrupts spells for three seconds that are offensive. So, basically, what what this means is, I have to cast Ring of Peace, and a mage, like, let's, let's say a mage. I have to cast Ring of Peace, the mage has to be inside that Ring of Peace, and he has to cast Frostbolt, or whatever offensive spell, to get locked out for only three seconds. And then after the three seconds, he's free to do whatever. So... It's dumb, because who the fuck's going to cast a spell inside Ring of Peace unless it's by like accident or you interrupt with it? And it only affects offensive spells. It doesn't affect like healing at all. And it's got a pretty long cooldown. And when you compare it to Leg Sweep and Charging Ox Wave, it just doesn't compete. So, whatever. I'm not too upset about uh, Ring of Peace getting changed, because I don't want my class being based around a stupid, cheesy ability. I, I like the baseline buffs that they're doing. I like the quality of life changes that they're doing, and I think that is the way to go uh, for buffing monks anyway. I, I'd rather them not do anything insanely crazy. I'd rather them just, hey, make it a little bit more convenient, make it a little bit, you know, buff our self-healing. I think they're going the right direction with the monk changes, and I think that's really all we needed was just a little, bo a little boost, a little bit more convenience, and uh, I think we're going to be good to go. Now, speaking of quality of life changes, this is something I'm pretty proud of because I think... The Zyback TV viewership got this change through. Now, what's the change? Glyph of Paralysis is coming to the game. It's replacing uh, Glyph of Path of Blossoms, which nobody ever used. And what's what, what it's going to do is it's going to make our Paralysis wipe all pre-existing dots. It, it's making Paralysis exactly like Polymorph. So if I have uh, a dot on a target and I paralysis it the dot will be wiped that means our paralysis is always going to go off and i can play with whatever classes i want to play with that is huge because for the longest time i have never been able to play with a death knight you can't play with a death knight as a windwalker because death knights put dots on everything and you can't cc anything with dots on it now if it now, now mages can play with dks if they want to because polymorph would uh, clear the DK dots, so you'd have to tell the DK, hey, don't dot this, and the DK dots are like 30 seconds long, so it, it was just ridiculous, so finally, that is getting changed, that's a huge change, I was saying, I was saying for the longest time, like, don't give monks ring of peace, I'll trade ring of peace for glyph of paralysis, and they're finally giving us glyph of paralysis, thank god, I'm so excited about that, I'm looking forward to being able to play with some extra classes, 
Uh, I, it was really annoying because you could only play with like a few select classes. Like you could play with a Shadow Priest because Shadow Priests don't put dots on absolutely everything all the time. I've really wanted to try out playing with the UA lock. I think that's going to be excellent. This, all these quality of life buffs, self-healing buff, double mastery. We're getting a new mastery, which is a, basically a baseline sustained damage buff. Um, Zune's getting fixed. Nimble Brew. Other classes are getting nerfed. That's the, the biggest thing of the entire patch is that other classes are getting nerfed. 20 second shockwave is gone. Fuck you. Double middle fingers up to you warriors. Fuck you. Thank God. Oh, it's going to be so fun. So expect a lot of WoW next patch. Expect some DK action. Uh, I sort of can the DK this season because it, I'm so undergeared. Um, so, yeah. Man, I'm excited. WoW will be coming back next patch. So stay tuned and, yeah, see you guys next time. Warrior pops wreck. I disarm the wreck. Check this out. This is a pretty clutch moment. Scatter trap on my paladin. My priest life grips him out of that. And MLG Zune is going to eat the trap. That's a pretty sweet sequence of events.